Kat Garcia and today I'm going to talk to you guys about what to wear to an audition because I know that you guys sent me so many messages about how you know you guys are auditioning now which is awesome I'm really happy that you guys are auditioning and that's just such good news to hear and um, well you guys need help now on what to wear which is great because I love talking about fashion so it's okay number <laughs> one my the number one thing that I usually go for is simplicity you want to wear something that's tight to your body because casting directors will think that you're trying to hide something if you are wearing like a bunch of layers and stuff um, so you want to wear something that's tight like I usually wear a v-neck I'm actually gonna show you a clip of an audition that I did so you see the clothes I can see you made it though interesting because you didn't even audition so yes that is what I wore I wore a v-neck it's white it was white it was pretty tight and I wore jeans um, and I mean if it's not if it's not really I mean girly enough for you if if you feel like there's you know you you haven't been able to showcase your personality or it doesn't really go with your character then I would wear something that kind of shows your personality a little bit like usually it could be as simple as your nails like they're not done now but usually I have them nicely done you want to go very clean um, I like to wear maybe a little bracelet, um, a ring, little things like that. For earrings, I don't like to wear big things or things that like jewelry that is just like, oh, that you're like, oh my gosh, she's wearing so many like shiny stuff and it's just, you want to go very um, simple because if you don't, then you're distracting the casting director she's she or he is gonna be looking at like your earrings if they're like big hoops um, or if you're wearing too much makeup you don't want to wear too much makeup you I'm 17 and I usually audition for roles that are for girls age 14 13 14 15 so I always wear um, I only wear foundation clear mascara uh, a, maybe not even eyeliner, like maybe nude eyeliner. Uh, I do not wear lip gloss. Don't wear lip gloss, not even on TV. Are you supposed to wear lip gloss? Um, unless you're like Adrian from uh, The Secret Life of the American Teenager. But usually girls um, wear lipstick. Like uh, I like to wear um, nude lipstick, lip balm. Just things that you could buy at the drugstore, like you don't have to spend a lot of money on this. Um, and my hair is usually done uh, in the way that I have it in my headshot or I have it done up. Because if you have it done up, then you show your face. You show your facial expressions. You don't have to like, you know, exaggerate your face as much as if you have it down. Because if you're, you know, if you go like this and you're looking at another character here, you're blocking this part of your face. If I'm looking this way, it's still blocking my ears or something. It's blocking this part. It's like, I think that it's really important to maybe have your hair up. Artemis for sure wants a band. I so want a band. Simple, but a lot of people say that you can, you should dress up like your character. And that is true. I mean, that has worked for me in the past. Um, the roles that I've gotten actually okay one of the roles that I got which was for the TV show that I did here in Quebec um, I was wearing I remember I dressed up as a character I was 6 15 at the time and I had to look like I was 13 12 13 so I um, I actually wore a shirt and jeans that I I used to wear when I was 12 like they were my from my own closet and I picked them out and I was like, oh, I used to wear this, so I'm just going to be like myself when I was 12. I'm going to dress up girly because my character was girly. And I was a girly, I was kind of girly when I was 12, so I just wore that. Uh, and I remember doing my hair like kind of wavy. Um, I did not wear makeup. I wore maybe a little tiny bit of foundation because I had like pimples to cover up, so I just did that. But that was it. And then I took little clips and did that with my hair <laughs> and I got the role I don't know I, I looked the part I guess um, they liked it so that worked out um, uh, quoi? Um, 
Ben, ben en fait, moi je me sens moi ta façon de dire. Ça m'a coucou chante. Je laisse pas trop le dire. Um, play the part. Dress up for the role. So those are two different techniques. Hopefully this does help. Um, it, this advice that I'm giving you to you, the advice that I'm giving to you today is um, from personal experience, but it's also from, from professional, I can't even speak today. It's from professionals um, because I, many casting directors have told me um, to keep it simple and to, then others have told me to play the part, so. <laughs> Um, really depends how you want to go about it. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video and break a leg on your next audition. Keep messaging me. I really love your messages and I, I love to hear about what you guys are going through right now because uh, if, you, if you do have any questions, I am here. Um, Facebook.com slash Kat Garcia Official. Uh, check out my music as well. Um, I have many shows, so tell me what to cover. I don't know what to cover anymore. <laughs> Uh, youtube.com slash m or my official website katgarciaonline.com Thank you guys. Bye.